I'm Coach Andy Farrick. I am the head coach for Niles North High School. And um, I hear your family has a little bit of a history in gymnastics. We have quite a bit of a history. My grandfather uh, helped spread gymnastics throughout most of the state. Uh, my uncles were all head coaches. My father's a head coach. My mom was a head coach over at Niles West. Uh, even my wife coaches here at Niles North. And your brother. And my brother, yes, he <laughs> volunteers to help out. And you and your brother were both, uh, you both competed. We were both Niles West gymnasts, that's correct. I, I see a lot of what I remember as a student. I see that desire to be better, but that hesitation to work super hard for it. Uh, and it's being a coach, it's about drawing that out of the athlete, about building on their strengths and teaching them how to cope with their weaknesses and how to better themselves in everything that they do. So one of the biggest things I learned from being a high school gymnast was about determination, about ambition, about goal setting. Uh, it set me up for a great deal of my career and for a great deal of my life. I've learned that it's not always the easy path that leads to success. It's a lot of grit, it's a lot of determination, and it's about falling. Falling again and again and again and getting right back up and throwing that routine. So one thing that I'm proud of is that I don't pride myself on victories. I pride myself on building athletes who are confident, who came in with nothing and came out with everything that they wanted. They achieved their goals. They're able to flip when they came to me, not able to walk and chew gum at the same time. I am here to help these guys realize that they can build on failure. They can build on success. They can build wherever they want to, and they can make a skyscraper. Love it. I'm a paraprofessional over at Niles West. I work with special ed students, and it's the best freaking job I've ever had. And do you use any of your professional skills uh, working with special ed students as a coach in gymnastics? I use my professional skills as a special ed uh, paraprofessional on the daily. Uh, these kids are not easy to work with all the time. They do have frustrating moments where they can't see the bigger picture, and you have to break it down for them into little steps. and again, just build on those steps one after another until they finally have that aha moment and they're able to throw that skill that they were working for. I love it. I would talk to them about how they're robbing a lot of kids of, the, of opportunities. We take in the kids that couldn't make it in other sports and then we build on them. Uh, a lot of the kids I got here, they were the ones who didn't make it to volleyball. They were the ones who were terrible at soccer. They were the ones that just couldn't cut it in cheerleading. And so they still wanted to flip. They didn't know how, and they came to me. And I was, and me and my wonderful coaching staff, we were the ones who taught them that they have worth, they have meaning, and they have a place with us. Uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Coach F uh, Andy Farrick for Niles North. Is that what I'm saying? I'm sorry. It's all right. Bye. Editing. Yes. Okay. <laughs>